now the pads are in. If they're like this, just get something to make sure there's no grease on it. And you can just kind of push them back where they go. So they'll slide over the rotor here. These bolts are really clean and I, I had already wiped off my bench so I can lay them here and not get any dirt on them because I've already coated them lightly with grease. Actually, before I took them out, they were totally cleaned and greased. Before I removed this brake, I sucked all the fluid out. But there theoretically some could drip out of here when I go to feed it up to the master cylinder. I'm just gonna get a fresh bag and then twist it up like this and put a zip tie on it. You don't wanna get this brake fluid on anything. And I wanna keep this fitting clean. So that'll be good. Underneath the headlight, there is one fitting up under here. Right there that we have to feed the cable through. It's just a four millimeter. So I'm gonna undo this and feed the cable underneath through here. I keep saying cable. That's because I've been repairing bicycles for over 35 years and they didn't have hydraulic brakes back in the day. Everything was like a mechanical cable, but so instead of feeding the cable up here, I'm gonna be feeding the hydraulic hose. Now I can feed this hose up through that little area I showed you. I have the bolt out now, it just comes off like that. Now I can feed it up through here and put that clamp back on the other side. That little hole there hooks over a tang. And then you put the bolt in. I'll have to put this little rubber piece on first here. This will go inside and that's what clamps the hose. This is a little more difficult because normally you just have the hoses off, hydraulic hoses, and feed everything down. But I had to take everything off so I could film for the valve clearance check and adjust series. So I can just roll this over a little closer now. I've got to get those calipers on. Feed this up a little. Now it comes up behind the throttle cables. You can get different color fittings. I Originally I bought blue, but I like just the chrome. So there's basically just one bolt that you spin out here. And then there's two crush washers like this. There's the hole where the hydraulic fluid goes through. So you put one washer on each side. One will go through here like that with a crush washer. And then the crush washer goes on the other side back here. So it looks like that. I like just to have a six millimeter so I can put it in the hole like that. And then I can kind of push and turn at the same time because you definitely don't want to cross thread this I'm just carefully spinning this in. I'll just snug it down for now, and then I'll torque it to the proper torque later. I'll slide this little rubber grommet up and put it on that mount under here that I showed you. Now it's just a matter of getting the brake pads over this rotor here, and then getting the two bolts into there. This is the banjo bolt up by the master cylinder. The fluid comes out of this hole from the hydraulic reservoir and then out these two holes into, into your hydraulic line. The original OEM rubber hydraulic lines use steel banjo bolt washers, but the new ones I bought from Spiegler use aluminum. So anyway, I'm gonna replace those aluminum crush washers, they're a one-time use. You put one crusher on this side and then the fitting goes in between and the other washer would go like this. This is the hydraulic reservoir and when you squeeze the lever, the fluid comes out this hole and down into the hose. Take your banjo bolt, put a new washer 
on that side, I have this six millimeter just to hold it for me. Then you put it through the fitting. The washer goes on the other side. And then you carefully make sure you don't cross thread it. So I'll torque this down. So number seven, I was calling a banjo bolt. And in the bicycle industry, that's what it's called. But down here, Yamaha is calling it a brake hose union bolt. And then up here on eight, those are those new aluminum washers that I showed you. They are calling those brake hose gaskets. The tightening torque on that is 30 Newton meters. This is the master cylinder where the fluid goes in. On the next video, I'm gonna to have to fill this up with fluid and I'll show you how to bleed the brakes. After I get the brakes bled, I'm gonna tighten these two bolts down to 35 Newton meters, but I wanna get the hydraulic fluid in the hose first because I like to squeeze the lever when I tighten these because that helps center the pads on the rotor. The only thing I don't like about these aftermarket brake lines is there's this little tang here on the master cylinder and on the stock lines. When you go to tighten this, it actually bumps up against here. This just spins on me. I was able to take this big crescent wrench. Looks like a 15 inch I've had for a while. And then I put it on here and make sure I made sure it was tight up against there. And then I pivoted it up and pushed. Yep, that's good. The brake hose runs down through this little bracket and then down here under the throttle cables those are the throttle cables it goes down through this hole and then it goes down behind the headlight it goes through this plastic bracket and it goes down into the rubber bracket going down through this rubber grommet which has the metal bracket and the bolt back there and it goes down like this behind the fork stanchion down through here's another rubber grommet with a plastic bracket and then the outer hose goes on the outside this one's like a double banjo bolt it's got a washer and a washer and a washer so then this hose goes up back over the fender and then over the fender like that behind the stanchion and into the other brake. This just has a single one. It's got washer, washer. On the next video bleeding the brakes, I'll be taking this cap off the master cylinder. Until then, have a good night.